。天文台喺下昼四点二十分取消所有热带气旋警告信号。热带气旋小犬喺过去嘅周末吹袭本港，打破多项纪录。天文台处理高级科学主任江如秋话：，需要喺十月发出九号信号，对上一次系一九七五年十月，而今次系继上个月初超强台风苏拉袭港之后，相隔三十七日，天文台再发出九号信号。另外，由午夜到中午十二点，本港多处地区录得超过三百毫米嘅雨量，当中天文台总部录得三百三十三点九毫。毫米只系半日嘅雨量，已经打破一八八四年以嚟嘅十月最高日雨量纪录。江如秋又话：能唔能够喺改发信号前作出预警，视乎每个热带气旋嘅情况，包括路径系咪较简单，环流系咪较大。All tropical cyclone warning signals were cancelled at 4:20 in the afternoon. As tropical cyclone Koinu striking towards Hong Kong over the past weekend, breaking multiple records, acting senior scientific officer Kong Yu Chao said that the need for the issuance of the increasing gale or storm force wind signal number nine in October, on the previous issuance of this increasing gale or storm force wind signal number nine on October, is in 1975, as the passage of Super Typhoon Elsie in Hong Kong. At this time, 37 days later, when the passage of Super Typhoon Shao La smashed into Hong Kong early last month, the observatory issued the increasing gale or storm force winds signal number nine again. On the other hand, from midnight towards noon, more than 300 millimeters of rainfall were recorded in many areas of Hong Kong. Among them, 333.9 millimeters of rainfall were recorded at the Hong Kong Observatory headquarters. As this rainfall was only half a day, breaking the record for the highest daily rainfall in October since 1884, he also said that whether before issuing the tropical cyclone warning signals and putting them on standby will depend on the conditions of each tropical cyclone, including whether the track is simple and whether the circulation is large.